Due to the graphic nature of this program, viewer discretion is advised. <laughs> is filmed on location with the men and women of law enforcement. All suspects are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. Today we're doing another buy bust. It's not our traditional buy bust. Uh, what we'll be doing is we will be purchasing uh, drugs from street level dealers uh, from within a vehicle, although the vehicle is different. This time we're using a yellow taxi. So we have a yellow, ta a yellow taxi already wired and ready to go. Um, Detective Walsh will be driving. Officer Kidder will be with me in the rear. We will be acting as uh, passengers. All right. We got uh, the three people in the cab. Even if the guy wants to get in the vehicle, we have our guy driving, and we got our two undercovers in the back. Obviously, the whole thing is safety concern for everybody involved. Yeah, you guys doing? It's a guy in a blue uh, tank top by, by the alley, by the alley. What's up, dude? Yeah, get in, man. Hang on, man. Hang on. We're tight. We're tight. Uh, can you fit, bro? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got to go right around him. Right around the corner to my little brother. You got right. it, buddy. And go straight and make a left. Into the complex? Go right here, right here, right here. No, nah, man, I, 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 I haven't ripped off too many times. You nah, want man, I'm not, I'm not going to rip you off, bro. Here's, give me two. You give me half. Or you, I give you half now. Bring back the other two. Bro, ain't no sense in me house that my little brother stay right there. I ain't with no... Bro, I'm going ready in and out, bro. All right, man. All right. Shook me up, D, please. And hopefully you score him some dope. Hopefully get the guy in and get the dope while they're in the car. And then uh, we'll be able to move him and affect the arrest on the guy. All right, Brent. <laughs> yeah, my little cousin, he, he got pissed off just a while ago because I brought y'all here. You know what I'm saying? Oh, thanks, bro. Hey, baby, you got my two? It's a done deal. We're going to move in and do the takedown the, uh, in this van here. Uh, hold on, dude. What's wrong, man? My car is dying. Okay, go. Velasco, Velasco, India. Get out of the car. Get out of the car right now. Get on the ground. Get on the ground. Turn around, Harold. Okay, they got it, guys. You can slide up uh, along with uh, Velasco. Hey, where you going? What are you bringing these people out here for? Get up, Harold. Don't be coming back. I ain't got nothing on me, bro. I don't sell no drugs. They can go. My name is Harold. Yes, sir. I ain't got, I ain't, I ain't, I ain't done nothing wrong, bro. Oh, oh man. Huh? That's, that's that? nothing, bro. That's, that's, that's bacon soda. You can test it and everything else. That's we'll bacon soda. That's bacon soda, bro. I swear to God to you. That's bacon soda, bro. I ain't, I ain't done nothing yeah, wrong, bro. A, uh... All right. What We're going to test it, all right? All right. You going back right now for sale of a substance in lieu of? Bro, I didn't sell them nothing. You could check. You could okay. check. You could check them, bro. I didn't sell them anything right, straight Harold. up. Hey, just get in the car. Oh, he's just going to sit there and deny it. I mean, we saw what's going on. He's got another packet of what he says is bacon soda. We have to test it. And uh, our job is to make sure that we get them put away. I didn't sell them anything, bro. They, they, they asked me, did I have any coke? I told them I didn't have no coke. I told them it was bacon soda. He said, well, I'm not going to buy it if it's not real coke. So where'd you get the 20 from then? My mom gave it to me. I wouldn't lie to you. Get in the car. Bro, that's my money. Where'd you find the money at? Right front pocket. Then that's our dollar. I mean, we know where it came from. Rich has a copy of it, so we're good. Not worried about it at all. Exactly. All right, you guys ready? Let's go. Let's go for one more. Hey, sweetheart. Hey. Go to the dead room. Yeah, I think there is. I can't understand what she's saying. She's trying to direct him somewhere. Uh, All right, guys, you're going to be down the dead end. You see he's got the girl in the car. Um, she's going to be taking him down to a dead end street here where we have some problems with drug sales. We'll see what happens. Uh, we're going to try and set up in an apartment complex. Just pull over the park a lot over here, okay? Uh, How many you want? Two. Yeah. Two hard. Yeah. There you go. There's all 40. Sweetheart, no, please don't rip me off. All right, me and my girl from Atlanta, we're hurting. I'll be right back. All right. She's pretty out of it. As long as she comes back to the car, we're good. 
She's got my money. All right, Ross, she's on her way back. It's gonna be another car takedown if she wants to go somewhere. Yeah, no, you have need a ride. All right, we're going down the end of the street. We're gonna pick this girl up. She's walking back into uh, village. Around her, take that right up there on your right. All right, she's gonna boogie in a minute. Man, let me see your hands. Uh, right here. Go. Get your hand out of your pocket. Right. What are you doing with those guys in the cab? They, Stand they up. Had wanted to buy something. What they uh, want to buy? They bought drugs. From you? Yes, sir. Well, where'd you get it from? I did. I had them on. I already had them. You already had it? Where'd yes, you, sir. Where'd you sell them? They, they wanted. They had. They had forty dollars. And where'd you get them for forty dollars? I, I gave them forty dollars. Crack? Whatever they asked me for, sir. Well, you said you had it on. You have crack. You have powder. Nothing. Ain't nothing. No. Are you gonna smoke with this? Yeah, that's my stem. I get high. All right, Barbara, you're gonna be going down town. You're in the rest of the sale of cocaine. Okay, I can do that. You can do that? Good. Glad we could help out. You can be over here, Barbara. Okay, let's get her out of here. See if we can get another one. Guy with a white t shirt, light blue hat, blue jeans. What's up, man? Two for 40, bro. Two for 40. Pretty well. Give me 20 for that Columbus. Bro, that's, that's, what is that? Yo, we make it right. We just, we just low, man. We be All good. right. Where's the floor at? Right, right, right here. All right, thanks, bro. All right, done deal. I'm gonna be walking. Done deal. Give me a description again, Rob. We're uh, sliding up. Glasses on. Got a white t-shirt, blue jeans, pants. Just put the blue hat on. Yes, yeah, that's him. All right. Right there. He's gonna book. Oh, I can... oh, I'm down. Go down. I'm down. I'm down. Let, let me see no, your other arm. Okay, look, look. <laughs> Sir, I just came up here about a dinner. I ain't... <laughs> What's in your hand? I ain't, I ain't got nothing you get. What's in your hand? I'm not resisting. You go. I'm yes, not sir. resisting. You gotta look on the side, sir. Uh -huh. Sit up. I'm left, I'm left. Yeah, it was in his pack, it was in his pack of cigarettes. Okay, right, come over by the van, we'll get you out of here. Grab Waiting for a car to come get you. Huh? Grab a cap. Yeah, we'll grab that. Just I'll, walk past I'm gonna it. grab that. Oh, it's all money. What? I need to talk to Alright, went well. Taxi cab worked out good? Yeah, Happy it, was, in there? it was great. Nobody really questioned it, did they? Not a, they don't even look at the driver at all. It's strictly straight to these guys. Right to the deal? Yeah. Got repeat offenders. Right. Guys just got yeah. out, so we're good on it. Yeah. All right, let's uh, go out another day, use the cab, work well. Let's try it one more time. All right. All right. Sounds good. Baker 34 arriving. We're arriving on a domestic where Somebody stabbed the other person with a knife. The call just came out. We're right in front of the complex. Three Baker 34 advising, apartment one. We've been here before. Call the police? Yes, I did. What's going on? Where's the she knife? Me with a pair of scissors just Where's she at? Upstairs. Upstairs? I told the. Uh... All right, sit down. Where's she at? Okay. What's her name again? Misty. Come out here. Let me see your hands. Touch me in the Misty, come out here. Let me see your hands. Drop whatever you got in your hands. Oh, come down. Down. He... come like down here. He punched me in the Come chair. down here. He punched me down. Come down here. Just get down here. You see my cat. He kicked him and everything. I couldn't get Come down here. Sorry. Get outside. I couldn't do anything. Why are you still here? Because you, you won't Drop me. what's in your hand. Ouch. Stop oh, resisting. Yeah. Relax. I didn't do anything. Drop you what's in your hand. It's my phone. Stop pulling away. I didn't do anything. Stop Please. pulling away. Please. Stand up. Spread your legs. He's lying. Spread your legs. He's lying. You put, get, get the... Stop okay, resisting. Right, Relax. I didn't do anything. Relax. Relax. Spread your legs. Spread your legs, put your hands together, and stop pulling away. You understand me? I didn't do Don't anything. turn around. 
Every time I'm out here, you're moving out. He's getting you evicted. It's the same story, and it never changes. So guess what? Somebody's going to jail tonight. What? Because I'm, I'm here I'm... investigating a call where someone's stabbing somebody, I'm and you're the one that's told stabbing somebody, and you don't want to listen to me. You don't want to stand still. Please don't take me. Please send it off. Save my back and everything. Do you have anything illegal on you? I don't know. I don't. You don't know if you have anything. No, I just changed my pants because I didn't have. If I do, he did it, and then I'll... If you do, he did it? Yes. How high are you all right now? I'm not. I'm not at all. I'm not. That's why I'm messing with him. I'm not messing with him. What do you got in here? Oh, my pills, because he's been stealing them. Forgot about the tweak? What? Forgot I about the meth? Oh, my God. See, oh, my God. Look I at that. Take... Jim, I don't believe you. Take the fingerprint on it. I even had alcohol. Looks oh like you're hosed to snort the dope. Can't you tell these aren't even mine? I just changed my pants. Can't you tell they don't fit? All right, have a seat for me right here on the curb. And, and, and when I brought that to his attention, I didn't put that Show in. That is not mine. Please take the fingerprints from it. I've dealt with these people before. Right. Every time we come here, they don't get along, and he's evicting her the next day, evicting her the next day. Her husband, wife, or just No, nah, they're just roommates, but they're ex-lovers from a long time ago. Okay. She's saying he punched her in the stomach. He's saying she stabbed him with scissors. Bare minimum, she's going to jail for the tweak. But Is he a tweak or two? I don't know. He's like an old guy, like borderline handicap. Probably just lets him go. So uh, okay. if you can go talk to him real quick and get his side of the story. It's the first apartment right there. How's it going? Oh, I'm fine. I didn't hear it. What's the problem tonight? She's in the process of being a bit. I really don't know. I have no idea what set her off when I came home now. Like I say, I've been home maybe 45 minutes. Uh, as soon as I walked in the door, she started screaming something about it. I'm going to kill you. So I said, might be serious. I grabbed my camera and had it down here. I went up the top of the stairs. And she's sitting there with these damn scissors and went like that. I put my hand up and stood back and placed the camera. So if you want proof of the actual attack, it uh, might be a little blurry because I was ran back downstairs right away too and called you guys. I didn't think. So how did he get the cut? What cut? The cut on his arm. He has no, he has no cut on his arm. He does have a cut on his arm. I didn't even have scissors. I was cutting the... Cut? Oh, these scissors wouldn't cut. These scissors Who said couldn't... anything about scissors? Stand up for me, Missy. All right. I don't believe you. At this time, I'm just letting you know your charges. You're under arrest for possession of methamphetamine because that tested positive for meth. You're also under arrest for the little straw that you used to snort it, which is drug paraphernalia. Oh and then you're also under God. arrest for domestic violence for cutting his hand with the scissors. I didn't touch him. Okay. I swear you can tell I that to the judge. Touch him. Okay. What? I never cut him. Just stand right there. Face the car. Just have a seat for me. What Make sure I... you don't fight or anything. And in the future. What? When a police officer grabs you and is telling you to stop fighting and to put your hands behind your back, you don't fight with the police anymore, okay? What am I supposed to okay? do? Will you tell you're, me? You're supposed to not fight with the police. When we're trying to put handcuffs on you, you don't pull away, you don't pull your hands away. Don't take when we tell you to put your hands behind your back and spread your legs apart, I that's what you do. I didn't cut okay? him. Okay, sit back for me. Near him. Okay, well, he has a cut on his hand. Oh my God, he did it himself then. Okay. Well, you also got the meth, too, in your pocket I that I found. I sit back for me, okay? I, oh my God, I told him I was going to change my pants. <gasps> I was proud of being clean and he was jealous. <gasps> that's why Jeff didn't come back. James, how's it going? I'm sorry. Well, four right. days is the last time you guys will be out. All right. How do we load this music down? I got to talk to you real quick. Sure. Okay, James. <laughs> She's going to be arrested tonight for battery domestic violence because she cut you on the hand. Yeah, you guys so, live together. It, so minor. it doesn't matter. By law, it's mandatory arrest. I mean, this time she stabbed you in the arm. Next time, no it's going to be in your heart or no. you're going to stab her. No. This time she went to jail. I mean... Well, you know better than this. Take care of the problem so we don't have to keep coming I, out here, okay? I do. Okay. Just got a call come out saying uh, someone is calling dispatchers on the pay phone saying someone's trying to kill them. Uh, the dispatcher is trying to get further information right now. 
we're just up the away from it a uh, little ways if you want to head that way yeah let's go ahead and jump this car it looks like it's gonna be a, a pretty good one here you're clear all right here we go i was getting some updates right now about uh person uh putting a knife to her throat and she's away from the residence right now sound like she's calling from a pizza place clear they're saying she's uh waiting for officers to arrive at a pizza restaurant that's right around the corner from the city college yeah he might have got loaned it looks like they're probably having trouble finding it Where's she, where's she live? Where's she at? This right here. The blue house on Yale. Did he go back to the house? He would go back to the house. I just run to the payphone. Okay, okay. Relax. We got enough people here, okay? Calm down. He a threat me to me with his gun. He what? He a threat me to me with his gun. Threaten the yeah, shooter with the shotgun. Yeah. Okay, does he have there right now? Does he have a shotgun at the house? Yeah, inside the house. Okay. And he, does he threaten to kill you? Yes. Okay, can you tell me real fast? I know you're talking to this officer. Can you tell me really fast what he did to you tonight? Uh, tonight, after I get out my work and then we have a meeting, so I go back to a meeting, so he just comes to what we're meeting, and then he just put me in well, the restaurant, and then he tell me to get in the car, so he just hold the knife to me. So what I kind of what kind him. of knife was it that he held to your throat? It's an American knife. It's long and brown. Like in like for a kitchen? Yeah, kitchen knife. A kitchen knife. He yeah. he said he was gonna kill you. Yeah. He okay. Said, I'm gonna go home and kill the kid. It's okay. Yeah, you're okay. You're gonna go home and do what? My kid. Okay, your kids at the house. Yeah. All right. Uh, this individual we got over here, Asian male, apparently involved in some type of disturbance uh, where he held a knife to her. In addition, uh, mentioning that he has a uh, shotgun and held it up to her. So we're thinking this guy's possibly armed. We're gonna take every precaution that we have available to us here. We're gonna set up on the house. We got an airship above, so we'll see what we get from here in a minute. Should be just around the corner. We're just getting more details now from the victim about an incident that happened yesterday with a loaded shotgun to the head, threatened to kill her. That has been confirmed, and we still have more units. We still have more units coming on scene. Ben, walk forward in line. Put your hands up again. Ben, walk forward, please. Stop. Got crossfire now. To your left. The other one. Okay, walk straight. Walk towards your neighbor's house. Front yard. Now walk backwards. You know where we are. Keep walking back. Keep going, keep going. You're good. Keep going. I'll keep going, keep going. Stop right there. Stop. Drop on your knees. Go down your knees. Okay, watch the porch. Who's coming? I got the porch. Okay. Listen to me. Put your hands behind your back, palms together. Behind your back. Can you, are those your kids coming out? We're going to do a quick inventory search of this house. Uh, the officers have located a weapon. We're going to make sure we secure that so it's safe and none of the kids are getting injured uh, after we leave, and then we'll be done here. Yeah, firm. We're uh, coming in the front door now. Yep. Was it loaded? Uh, it was empty. It was empty? Yeah, we got ammunition back there. 12 oh, you do, you do have the ammunition here? Yeah, 12 gauge. It was right where he said it was, huh? Yep, right behind the bed there. Okay. You want to tell me uh, your side of the story about what happened out here? I'm sorry? My, my you, yeah, just tell me, if, if you want to, uh, tell me about what's going on out here, the whole thing. I was just waiting for her to say that meeting. And I just went over there to get her. You, you, went, you went to get her from her meeting? Yeah, it's already done then. I just got mad a little bit that she lied to me saying it takes three hours meeting. When you were mad, did you do anything that maybe, you, you know, you shouldn't have done? I didn't see nothing else besides, like, hit her. D did you ever hit her? Before, I never hit her. You never have before? How about tonight? I just hit, I slapped her one time. You slapped her one time tonight? I her. That was it. Uh, you guys were in the car when you slapped her? Yeah. And you hit her in the face? You slapped her in the I face? beat her up, like, some guy beat each other up, you know, not like that. Sure, sure. 
to make her understand what, what I'm feeling. Okay, I appreciate your uh, cooperation for the interview, okay? We'll talk to you in a little bit. This is the knife that we recovered that uh, he held to her throat, uh, threatened to kill her and the children. Um, and uh, also had a gun in the house. She was concerned that he was gonna come back and uh, kill the family. Hello, ma'am. Okay, you, you folks okay now? You all right? All right. Yeah. What was your first name again, ma'am? Your. Your? Yeah. Okay, your. All right, I just want to come back in and make sure everything was okay with you. You kind of understand what's going on. He's going to be going down for domestic violence. Uh, and I want you to know you did the right thing by calling us, especially for the sake of these little guys around here. You can't have that uh, stuff happen. And so uh, our primary objective, obviously, is to make sure everybody's okay. And uh, any anytime something like this goes on, Make sure you give us a call. Did the right thing coming down there. Okay. okay. Thank you for all you guy helping me. No problem. If you need us, you call us again. Okay. You did the right thing. Just our job. One thirty-two in Bush. I got him at gunpoint. Okay. Gunpoint. One thirty-two in Bush. Covers code three. Kingston. 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 Okay. We'll still send a code three.